Guys, right now you can enter to win this Satin Ocean Shimmer Blue 24 valve Cummins plus five thousand dollars cash and not only that right now every one dollar gets you five entries so head on over to lmpgear.com place those orders because somebody's got to take this thing home and it might as well be you What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be doing a little bit of a work vlog here today. Hopefully you guys caught yesterday's video, which hopefully it was yesterday that you saw the video if you're watching this one. Otherwise, I'm running behind on my video again. If you saw yesterday's video, you know that we made some changes to the YouTube platform and how we are going to diversify ourselves just a little bit more in terms of separating personal and vlog content from business content and if you want to see more on that what I'm talking about watch the previous video and it'll explain a little bit more in detail because I don't want to do that in today's we're on our way over to uh, my dad's property here we're gonna be doing some wood cutting possibly and a couple other miscellaneous things so stay tuned enjoy the video and uh, make sure you guys are subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the future content quick update for the people asking about my late grandfather's Dodge 1500 that we picked up for him uh, back in 2018, early 2018, and we now have that we're going to be trying to restore and get in good shape. Currently, I'm running this thing everywhere. Like, this is my daily, this is my go-to right now. We're gonna be doing a lot to this truck in terms of fully custom interior. We're gonna be doing some changes to the suspension to make it a little more towing friendly. We're probably gonna have to have the engine gone through to make sure everything's in top working order, uh, just because, you know, this thing is the original engine and this thing has got 255,000 miles on it, so. I'm sure there's some wear and tear and through the different ownership styles of people who are meticulous on maintenance and people who are not so meticulous on maintenance so I just would like to have the whole truck gone through but I'm waiting to do that in the paint and body work until closer to like springtime just because like right now this is like our go-to to drive daily and if this is in the paint shop then we have to drive either the giveaway trucks currently or we have to drive Rosine which in either situation those are trucks that we don't want to be driving through the snow and the salt which is currently what we're dealing with all over the roads if you can't see that so um, as a courtesy we like to try to drive this one at the moment because it's already got a bunch of rust on it that we're going to be getting fixed and so I figure let's just limp it through the rest of the winter not really limp it through it's got a little squeak on the belt but other than that it, it runs and drives great but let's just run this through the rest of the winter and then when we're not worried about getting salt or anything else on the other vehicles because they won't be spreading it on the roads anymore then drive um, either rosine or giveaway trucks in the meantime while wow, this is getting all redone, paint, bodywork, custom interior, I mean, just everything. So anyways, quick little update on that for you. Out here at the location where we're gonna be cutting and splitting today, Dad's got the chainsaw out there. Cutting some more rounds for me to split. So I'm gonna get the camera rolling and get to splitting some firewood and see how much we can get knocked out here. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day Exactly 20 minutes Let me get that little pile You gonna sweep the floors or what do you got going on there? Mary Poppins got a lot done in her day. I don't know if I ever saw her with a broom, but <laughs> I'm to think of it. <laughs> it I think bag. you're thinking more of like Cinderella or so. I don't I don't know what you're talking about, but Cinderella knows how to get stuff done. Yeah. You see a long stretch of oak right there? I see a lot of oak everywhere. I know that's all I got yesterday. A little little pile there, but so we're gonna keep on splitting away. Gave it 
Case on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me slack, no it's not how you fall, it's how you get right back up, it's how you get tough well, Dad had to head out. He had to run to the office about an hour ago, but we did get quite a bit of firewood cut and split. This is just from today right here, not including that first pile that we did. You know, some of you might be wondering what's the point of stacking it all nice and neat if it's out in the woods hundreds and hundreds of yards from where it's gonna be put in the barn. Well, that's because until we can get out here to get it all, at least for now, it's stacked up right on the side of the logging trail and it's easy to get to. And if it's out here for several months, most of the wood can kind of air dry and season even before we get it put into the barn. You know, it can kind of weather and dry out a little bit versus just being thrown into a giant pile. A lot of it just kind of rotten because it's all touching the ground versus here, only a small portion of it is touching the ground, the first row and then everything else is dry. So. Yeah, we're gonna get the tractor out of here though. I don't know if I ever, we never did a video with this. This is actually dad's new Kubota. He got rid of the, the other one. He never had any problems with it other than it stalled a couple times just because of a dirty fuel filter. But other than that, it was a great tractor. He had it since 2011 and it never really gave him any problems. This is actually a 60 horse, I believe. Pretty stinking nice. I like the hydrostat on it. Not gonna lie, when I get a tractor that I'm gonna use for like, this kind of work or like food plot work and stuff like that. This might be a little bit overkill, but the hydrostat is definitely gonna be nice, especially for the stuff that I would do, which is like just maintaining trails and planting food plots for all the deer hunting I do. This thing is super nice because the other one was a shuttle shift and um, it was nice too. It was nice for longer days or hours or whatever. If you're kind of just like going straight into field bush hogging that's hundreds of yards long, you know, then you're just wanting to basically put it in gear and go but this also has like a cruise setting as well so it can kind of do the same thing i just just a little bit different i guess you could say the output of the power is a little bit different but this is very convenient for stuff like this definitely something i'm going to look into when i'm in the market to buy a food plot tractor welcome to the final segment of this video hopefully you guys enjoyed the time lapse of cutting and splitting wood with my dad, seeing the new tractor. We didn't do a full overview of the tractor just because, you know, I didn't think it was the most important part of the video, but maybe you guys want to see more on the tractor. So we're going to go through a couple of questions and we're going to give you guys a little bit of a teaser of some stuff that we have coming up. And like I said, guys, previously, if you follow me on the business page, Instagram or the business Facebook page, or even on my personal account, Mr. LNP, we give little pieces of information and insight on some of the stuff that we've got coming up, some stuff that we're working on here. We are working on some new things and diversify ourselves beyond shirts, hoodies, hats, keychain stickers. You get the idea, like clothing and accessories. And I think you guys are going to really like the direction that we go. Sneak peek of one of the many things coming to the LNP brand. Um, you guys can take your guesses down in the comment section below of all the other stuff. I don't have everything here. I just have a couple little samples of one of the many new things we're going to be changing that we offer in the store. And it'll give you guys much better options of things to buy, much more usable products. There's literally like no snow on the road. The, the guy just, the plow was literally shooting flames. I mean, the road has like, there was like a little tiny sliver of dusting of snow on the edge of the road, but it's like 45 degrees today now. And so the road for the most part is bone dry. There's not even like salt visibly on the road anymore because they haven't been plowing or anything for like days. And this guy just comes by like trying to get the little dusting off the edge of the line. Hilarious. If you guys want to see full product reveals and more in depth on what we have coming onto the channel, I'm going to be dropping those videos very soon on the LNP Gear YouTube page. A lot of you guys have already found it and you're already subscribed, but if you haven't, definitely go check it out. Link is in the description below or I'll leave a comment down below if you want to see just everything about the LNP brand and videos that are just about the brand, the giveaways and the trucks and like to strictly LNP gear business. Answering some questions I got on social media. I just said, hey, shoot me some of your questions that you guys have had, whether it's about the truck, about the brand, stuff like that. So let's get into it. Somebody just said, will you ever buy another crew cab Cummins to build? 
Yes, we will most definitely be buying another Crew Cab Cummins, whether it's a third gen, fourth gen. Yes, we will have another Crew Cab Cummins here at some point very soon, I'm sure. So I'm gonna pull some Facebook comments because I don't always pull very many Facebook comments. It's usually just Instagram or YouTube. Does the truck have an aftermarket lift pump? And he is referring to this 9824 valve Cummins that you guys can enter to win right now, plus five grand. And yes, it does have an aftermarket lift pump. Is the trans stock on the truck? Transmission is not stock. It does have some internal up Upgrades, and it does have a shift kit as well shifts very smooth and very firm It's not like it doesn't feel weak and like you know one of those weak stock transmissions where you have to like throttle it up and like you know, feather the throttle to get it to change gears because it's so weak. This transmission is not like that. You can just lay into it and the thing would just keep high RPMs and firm shifts that are very smooth transitions. How do you guys pick and draw the winners? If you guys want that information, I made a video on that new YouTube page that goes through all the details on how to enter, how we draw winners, things to look out for for you know scam pages and stuff like that to avoid so definitely go check that out for that video because there's like a whole long three and a half four minute process i go through on everything about the giveaway how to enter and all the other steps of the way and what you guys can expect now we're going to hop on over to instagram here we're going to try to pull a couple of comments from somebody asked me on instagram why do you sometimes say and mention the mileage a lot and other times you don't mention it much to answer the question in a very brief manner for example we had a first gen at one point actually a couple of different low mileage first gens 155,000 miles i mentioned it and like every other post in the description down below, this truck only has 55,000 miles. Then we had a first one with only 86,000 miles. I was like, this truck only has 86,000 miles. Like I mentioned it like crazy. And then we'll have five trucks in a row where I don't really mention the mileage much. I don't brag about it all over the internet. And that's because it's like, you know, like for example, on Nasty Red. Nasty Red had 157,000 miles on it. Is that crazy high mileage? No, but it wasn't like low enough to where it was like, I need to make sure in all my advertisements and all my posts, I mentioned like crazy, it's 157,000 miles. You know what I mean? Like if it's like unusually low, like hard, hard to find, I'll mention it a bunch. If it's not like unreal to find and it's like, okay, you can, this isn't like something that's crazy low that like you're never gonna find again. If it's not like that big of a deal, I don't mention it a bunch just because I don't think that's the most important thing about the truck. I brag more about how clean a truck is or how good it looks or how good it's set up or how good it runs and drives and shifts your gears more than I would like bragging about the mileage on a truck that's not like crazy low mileage. If it's not like one of the coolest things about it in terms of how original or low miles it is. That's just not my vocal point on the truck because it's not the most important thing about the truck to me. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this style of video in terms of the first half of it a lot more, definitely let me know down in the comment section below and I would happily make more like it. I like getting out in the woods and doing work, especially with my dad. It's something that I do not mind at all doing and filming because, I mean, it's fun to just go work and do stuff anyway at most times. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you have not done so yet. I love the road noise here. Can't wait until it's gone. That is also coming soon. Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support, and I will catch you in the next video.